I was watching some Steve Dace the other day over on the Blaze TV, I believe. Yeah, uh, when I thought I had stumbled into an episode of, uh, you know, Sh Sheldon Cooper presents uh, Fun with Flags. Oh, how fun it was. I, I, now, well, now I'm not a big you know, conspiracy kind of guy, but... Hippie, you think everything's a conspiracy. Everything is. Uh, you know, but sometimes these things kind of, you know, slap you in the face. Sometimes you have to slap them in the face just to get their attention. Fine. Slap me in the face. But you kicked me in the... But I think this would be one of those times. Uh, you know, I'm gonna just let... Uh, Mr. Aaron McIntyre, explain it to you. And today's today's topic is brought to you by none other than our producer, Aaron McIntyre. Yeah, we got uh, mo mo flags, mo problems. Um, the rainbow jihad, you know, the symbol of their of the, the of their <clears throat> movement um, religion. Let's just call it that for. Basically, the entire modern existence, my entire adult life, has been the rainbow flag, which already was a basically double bird, flipping a double bird to God Almighty, because, you know, uh, the rainbow was the symbol that God showed his promise that he would not flood the earth again because of their wickedness and their sin. And, of course, this is pride, of course, is in and of itself a, a, a sin. But the pride flag, as we've previously noted, looked like this, as if the, the rainbow flag was not bad enough because of the the allusion to the rainbow in the sky and the, the symbol the, the symbolism that I just talked about. It's also curiously how many colors is up there? It's, it's one, missing one. It's only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well hmm. If that didn't make you scratch your head already, the latest iteration of the Pride flag, because as we all know, um um, just being the, the the pride flag, the the symbols of the the, the gays and the lesbians, uh, that was not inclusive enough. Now we have not only the transgenders, we have the bipox. Do you guys know what bipox are? I thought black, I got vaccinated for that before kindergarten. Yeah, no, no, it's the black indigenous people of color, which are thrown into the rainbow jihad for unknown reasons. Who are the There's, black indigenous people of color? Who are these? The people who are black indigenous and people of, I don't, I don't quite are these know. these the 11 people that celebrate Kwanzaa? I, yes, they are. Okay. Um, and then, so, so we've got those flag that we've got that flag now. Now it's on the third generation and this is the third generation of the rainbow jihad flag. <coughs> pardon, pardon <laughs> my French here, but that is, yeah. um, That's but ugly. The, the little umbrella in the in the middle that's the newest section that that represents apparently sex workers now why do they get why are they represented by an umbrella i i don't as know as the police one saying it's a big enough umbrella but it's always me that ends up getting wet <laughs> um but but i just want to i want to draw your attention again similar to the numbers that we saw before so there's six colors on the main flag yes take a look at this one, two, three, four, five, six on the main flag. Then another section for the sex workers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the other section for the transgenders and the BIPOX. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one section. Hmm. I would like to posit something to you. Could it be that the final section to make this three sections of six segments or six, six, six? Could it be that the final section is pedophilia? And could it be that this is mm. all just one happy coinky dink? My mind's blown right now, either because of what you have uncovered or the fact that you're so far gone and wrecked by what working on this show has done for done to you. That I'm sorry. That to you're work even at you're even starting symbols. to look for yeah. these sorts of things, yeah. even if they're not there, right? So Either way, you have blown my mind. But hey, I tweeted out a graphic. I'm sorry. I, I put on our Facebook page a graphic over the weekend from uh, stories that have appeared in the last couple of years over at Vice. And they're all stories yeah. attempting to legitimize pedophilia. Mm -hmm. Every there, there was like seven or eight of them, I think. 
all in this one graphic, and all of them are to legitimize pedophilia. I, I think there has been a tweet going around from a lefty blue check mark. Is this the porn for kids? Yes, yep. that, yeah. that has now been taken down. I've, I've seen it being, being shared on a lot of other accounts, the, saying it's time to put together porn for kids. So there you go. Maybe you're, maybe you're not wrecked. Maybe you're prophetic there instead you go. of wrecked. There you go. Todd, what are your thoughts? There is evil in this world that does not sleep. It can't be that bad. Come on. I mean, everybody's still going to be, I'm go, I'm taking my kids to their soccer practices this fall and getting them enrolled in college. Nothing can really be that bad. I, I really think we, we are just paralyzed by our comfort because it really is that bad right now. And, and most other generations by now would have woken up to the fact because they weren't as comfortable and they weren't as addicted to that comfort. And that's just the one thing we will not deviate from. We will not sacrifice. And they are promising it, 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 with things like this that they're coming, that they hate your children, that they plan on taking them from you. Funny, just this once. You're correct. We'll convert your children. I, I, I really think uh, Jesse Kelly, uh, he's really been the George Washington of this m movement where he's j just telling you folks, there's, he, he, pro he when he says he promises at you that these communists would just be happy marching you off to the gas chamber. He's not being hyperbolic. There's nothing new under the sun. We are just as demonic in our potential as ever before as a human species. And the level of pain and suffering that you all are bringing down on your children because you will not act now because it's too uncomfortable for you, you will rue the day. I just want to say, I, I asked if this is a coincidence. It's absolutely not. There's no way that a movement called pride, which is the root of all sin, which is the root of all sin, the symbol of that movement started with a rainbow flag, which is a sign of God's judgment against a wicked, unrepentant mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Now is furthering that flag, missing just one segment to make it three segments of six or three uh, sections of six segments. Guys, that's at the very, the, the most innocent explanation is that this is a demonic troll. The least innocent explanation is that this is very much on purpose. I think, is this like, I hate to go out Harold Camping, it, is this flag the countdown clock? <laughs> it might very well be. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. It might very well be. Mm. I'm scared now. I'm kind of creeped out. If that doesn't creep you out, I, I don't know what will. Well, maybe this guy will. I know he creeps me out. I'm really not a fan of you know, the Beelzebub guy. Hop on, sugar boobs. We've been waiting for you. And if he's using the LMNOP folks to you know, groom the little tykes. Well, the five finger tooth extraction line starts, you know, right behind me. You know, in this day and age, nobody really cares about your, your gayness. Well, that's your cross to bear. Wouldn't want to be you in the end, you know, just saying. If you think the guy in the red suit, well, he, he ain't out there stealing killing you know and destroying well uh i have have you turned on the tv in the last couple days or so it's getting pretty bad out there anyway uh kick the devil in the <coughs> and tell him i sent you